Today's video is about product photography. How to get a nice product shot with a wonderful, nice, white, pure background. Typical of eBay picture, for example, or e-commerce. Watch this video, you're gonna learn it now. First of all, you need a product to photograph. Like this, for example. Or we can use this. A strobe light that I'm using is my umbrella with the photek, with the so, uh, with the diffuser. What's important is the bigger is the source of light, the surface. The softer is the light, which means also the softer is the shadow. Then we need a, a white background, paper, folder. The white background needs to be put like that. Yeah. Why do we put it like this? So that we create, we create this. You see this white? It's nice, lowly. Let's put the product here. Where am I supposed to put the light? A lot of people usually put the light like on the side of the camera, like camera, subject, and the light coming from here or this side. And let's give it a try. And then I'll give you another slightly different option. Assemble number one. We put the light here. On the side of the camera. Now we check what's the power. So we got the products here. The camera here and the flash on the side. This is one option. That's what we get. Let's try with other products. Option number two. Now option number two is moving the source of light exactly on top of the subject. And I'll, I'll, I'll explain you why. Stay there. The light is exactly on top of, of it and same camera angle. We'll see from here. A light exactly on top of this. And then let's try the bus. Same thing. Here we got our first shot with the light from the side. Just let's color tone a little bit. I would slightly overexpose and put a small clarity just to give a, a, a sense of depth. Okay, so we see it's lit from this side, we create this shadow. I'll show you the other option. Light coming from a top. You see the difference? The light is it's totally blowing up already the background. You don't need to clean out. You don't need to brighten up later and create this wrapping feeling around, which is here we create the shadow that we may not want. Now let's try with the camera. Same things, just uh, slightly. Let's go up with the exposure and clarity just a little bit, 15, okay. Just changing slightly. Let's make it small. Here with, with the light coming from the top. We go here, 5800, 5800. So we get the same color balance. And then there was minus two and this is, let's go, minus two. Okay, that's same things. Let's show the difference here now. Both pictures are lovely. The picture on the right it's much as much whiter background, doesn't have a shadow because uh, the light comes from totally, totally atop. And we have, so basically we create a nice background already here. It's everything already uniform r rather than having much lighter here and a kind of shadow like here. 
See the difference? It's slightly different. In my opinion, this is more wrapping light, and this is just slightly less pleasant. Same things for this photo. Other product. Don't you see a, a difference? This r nice, lovely wrapping bag white background gives a, a, a feeling more, more, even more commercial look. On the left, we have the picture with the, where we get this shadow because the light was coming from here. Even the background, it's less wrapping of the, uh, the object. While in this case, we have we have the light coming from the top, so basically it's clear out already, create a white, pure background around. And we don't have any shadow, not even in the side, but what is lovely that I like, it's with this, this light coming from the side, which is kind of wrapping the object. Now I'm going to show you the, the option in case we're going to use a smaller source of light. You see, in this case, it's the same flash, but the surface is way smaller, it's just not even uh, 7 inch and we see how the light it looks like and now now with the light from the top yeah. here on the right we have the harsh light and on the left, the soft light. You see the shadow is different? Right shadow is harsher and the one on the left is much softer. And now with the light from the top. Soft here and then on the right, harsh light. There is a slightly different on the shadow just below the cup. Now you can get an idea between using a big soft box and a small source of light. The bigger the source of light, the softer is the shadow. The smaller is the source of light, the harsher is the shadow. And that's our general rule. I hope you guys like the video, but I hope also that I made myself clear enough. And put a like if you like, put a comment, uh, whatever. And subscribe actually if you like the channel. Thank you and see you next time. Oh yeah.